Hello there, Carlos here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to check uh, for any iCloud or Find My iPhone accounts associated with any device. Um, there are two ways essentially to check for this. Uh, one is with the device itself in your possession, so to check physically with the handset in front of you. Or the other one is to remotely check. I'll be showing you how to do both of those. Now, firstly, uh, if you have the device in front of you already, then you can check quite easily. If there isn't a password already on the device, you can check um, on the device itself by going into Settings and then iCloud. Now, we've got the two examples here, the two contrasting examples. On the right-hand side, we have a device which doesn't have any iCloud attached to it. It has no account whatsoever. So with this one, you've got no problems if you wanted to update or restore. Um, it's not going to lock you out. Uh, you can do whatever you wish with it. On the left hand side we have a another device which is um, which has got my iCloud account attached to it. Now if you scroll down into this, we're in the same menu which is iCloud. Uh, if you scroll down to find my iPhone, you'll see that that's actually enabled, it's on. Now that means if you were to try and update or restore this device, it would then prompt you to enter my password um, for the iCloud account attached to the phone. And if you couldn't do this, then you'll actually be locked out and you'll be in a state of what we call iCloud activation lock, which basically gives you a phone or device which is only good for parts. Um, also, you could have um, a middle ground in which this was disabled, for instance. Now, if this was turned off, which it's doing now, you'll actually have an iCloud which looks like this. It's almost the same, but Find My iPhone is off. That's also all right. It's all, it's the same, in essence, as having uh, no iCloud account because you can do whatever you wish with it. Okay, now to remotely check the device, you will need to have either the serial or IMEI number at hand. And you're going to make your way over to a website provided by Apple, which is um, called iCloud activation lock um, it's actually I think the URL is iCloud.com forward slash activation lock yeah you see it's the first result here we'll click on that I already had it open <laughs> but we found it now what you need is either the IMEI or serial number and um, that can be found again by going into settings general about and finding the IMEI or serial number here. See, serial number or IMEI. You can use either of these two. They both provide the same result. Now, what you want to do is you want to enter that result here. Okay. Now, I'm going to put it in. I've copied it from earlier. Okay. This is an IMEI here. Now, you do have to enter the capture code. And I am notoriously bad at understanding these. I don't know if it's just me. T9XII, I believe that is. We'll enter that. And you'll now see activation lock is actually activated on this. Um, so that means uh, if you wanted to buy this device and you didn't know the password, uh, this device would only be good for parts because you wouldn't be able to restore it. Uh, you wouldn't be able to reset it. It would really be no good apart from if you wanted it for parts. Now, conversely, if we were to check another IMEI, This one. You'll see activation lock is off. Now, if you were planning on buying this device secondhand, um, not knowing if they had an iCloud account attached, you can now be very certain that it won't because this information is provided directly from Apple and it's updated almost instantaneously. So if I were to now turn on the IMEI, um, the iCloud, sorry, then it would show on immediately. It's, it's really very fast, and it's the best service for remotely checking. Uh, thank you very much for watching.